Hi there. In this video, I will show you one of the best terminal which you can use if you have a Linux system or a Mac OS system. So let's get started. So as you can see, I am inside of Arch Linux, basically inside of the distro which is called Cache OS, which is a Arch based distribution. Okay. So here in this system, this was the default terminal which was pre-installed which is Alacrity and it is an awesome terminal. Basically this terminal is super fast, super responsive and so on. But uh, there are some drawbacks with this terminal. First of all, you cannot use tabs with this terminal. You have to use something like Tmux or something like that if you want to have multiple terminal open at the same time. So here what I use personally, I use the terminal called Ghosty and this terminal is an awesome terminal. First of all, it is GPU accelerated as well and it is super fast, super responsive. And here I have set up a ZSH with power level 10K theme. Basically, if you want to see the setup for my ZSH or ZSH, you can write down that inside of the comments section. So this terminal is an awesome terminal. Okay, so I want to show you some of the features. For example, if I just zoom in a bit, so I can zoom in. Okay, now here it is. So if I just do something like we have the autocomplete suggestions for ZSH here. So I can do sudo pacman dash s y u just to update everything i'll update many of the things so as you can see it is running now if i do Control shift and t so we have another tab and here i can write another command or do many of the things for example if you are working with a project where you have to run the server and the client at the same time with different terminals you can do that and also after doing so, if I can, what I can do, I can copy paste many of the things as well. Okay, let me just give it a Y. So as you can see, everything is uh, running smoothly. Now, if I just want to copy something, so for example, I want to copy this text. Now what I can do, I can do Control Shift C and as you can see there is a nice pop-up like hey copy to clipboard and i can paste it down into the browser if there is an error or something like that which i can copy from the terminal itself and this terminal is super like responsive and super fine and if you have uh, something like arch linux it is available with pacman and if you are using mac os it is i believe available for the mac os as well and if i just go to my browser okay and do ghosty terminal if i just go to the documentation the documentation of ghosty is super awesome as well so here inside of the api or inside of the features i believe no inside of the configurations so here are all of the configurations here are all of the features but i wanted to show you there are the references and so on so let me just okay okay now here it is so option references right so if i just zoom in a little bit here as you can see you can change a bunch of things you can change the font family font family bold italic and so on font style you can change that also if you just go ahead and go here like the palette the cursor color you can change the background opacity and so on and so forth there are a bunch of things which you can change you can change the padding and the margin as well so if i just go to the ghosty once again and if i just do control comma so it will open the configuration which i have so i am using a font family which is let me just zoom in a little bit here okay so as you can see here it is so i am using the font family which is uh lilex <laughs> nerd font 
okay and there are some of the like the font features which i am using font size is 16 default i have set up some of the paddings and the theme is andromeda okay and there is a bunch of themes which you can choose from so if you just go to the browser okay and search for theme i believe here here it is and there are a bunch of themes and to change up the theme basically so let me just search for theme so there is a list of themes as well so if i just go ahead mm -hmm, there is a command here it is so this is the command so if i just copy that and just go to my terminal once again and here i'll do Control shift p so it is ghosty plus list themes and there we go so here are a bunch of themes so you can just go ahead with the arrow keys and you can check for all of the themes which you like and there is a bunch of themes i believe this is based on the iterm themes as well like the themes which are available to the iterm okay so there is a bunch of themes which i am using i am using this one which is called andromeda okay but as you can see there is a bunch of themes okay as you can see this terminal is quite awesome and i highly recommend you to use this terminal if you are in linux based system also as you might have heard like uh, in this year basically microsoft will uh, drop support for the windows 10 so you have to upgrade to windows 11 or you can just get rid of windows altogether and switch to linux if you are a developer i will highly recommend you because that has changed quite a lot of the things for me basically so yeah so this is that so this is the ghosty terminal which i really like and which i am currently using so if you enjoyed this video so then please like hit subscribe and share this video with friends as well thanks a lot for watching catch you guys in the next one